This College World Series report is brought to you by Take 5 Oil Change. I'm Eric Ritchie in Omaha, where LSU was shocked by UCLA, losing 2-1 to one in the opener thanks to some uncharacteristic shoddy play in the field. An eighth inning error by freshman shortstop Alex Bregman led to the go-ahead run after a throwing error in the fourth by catcher Ty Ross contributed to the Bruins' first run. Yeah, we made some errors that hurt us. Um, uh, it's, it's not, you know, it doesn't normally happen to us, but, uh, you know, we just got to overcome it. The defense is usually uh, clutch, you know, like you said, and uh, we usually make good plays and routine plays, and uh, I know we're going to bounce back from this one and put this one behind us and come back strong. I battled as hard as I can to the last pitch, and... You know, uh, unfortunately, we booted a couple of balls around, but, uh, you know, you just got to forget about that, and, and we're just going to come out Tuesday and compete. And we knew Aaron would give us a chance to win, and uh, he did. Unfortunately, uncharacteristically for us, we made a couple of uh, misplays defensively that, um, that cost us dearly. And, uh, you know, had we made, made all the plays for Aaron, he may, they may not have scored. You know, we, we really gift wrapped the two runs that they did score. LSU's lone run came via a solo home run by Mason Katz in the fourth. It was the first home run by any player in round one of the College World Series. I just hit it to the right part of the park, pulled it all the way down the line where, uh, you know, I, I knew if I hit it good, it might get out. But uh, you know, this, this park is big, and it, it's, it's unfortunate that that's the way it plays. You know, we've seen a couple balls in this tournament already. He bars. If one of or two bars, I thought for sure was gone. Stevenson's had a chance. The guy from Oregon State's, I thought for sure was ten rows deep. You know, it's a it's a huge park, but everybody's playing with it. We just got to play a little bit better. We didn't play as well as we could. I think all our players would probably tell you that we didn't play as well as we could tonight. I don't think anybody on our team wants to go home. That's about it. You know, if if we if we lose another one, our season's over. So it's it's pretty simple. You just uh, I, I love these guys and I want to play as long as I can with them. So. Uh, you know, we, we pretty much play every game like it's our last because it potentially could be. LSU now has the arduous task of fighting out of the loser's bracket. That starts on Tuesday afternoon when they face the number one seed North Carolina Tar Heels. Incidentally, the Tigers will be the home team in that game. In Omaha, I'm Eric Ritchie for your CST College World Series report.